all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol nio neo inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors welcome to my channel invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so neo inc has had a slight fall here and we are seeing it hit that 4837 mark and from that point forward there has been a recovery now this recovery was pretty steep right and then now it leveled off it hit a high here of about 55 54 we're about to look at that closely in just a moment but you could see how it actually ran back up we're hanging out now sideways and the question is could they continue to push forward i mean this was in bearish territory for a little bit bulls reappeared really fast we saw that on wednesday and then here we are now on friday hanging out sideways now the 50-day moving average is 52.99 and write that down super important for monday to know on what side of the chart we're in if we're below it we're in bearish territory and if we're above it we're in bullish territory but this is just fighting to continue to pull away from the 50-day moving average so i do want to emphasize to all investors that the bulls need to break through the resistance levels that we're about to talk about and push through it because if not the 50-day moving average will catch up to the price so let's go ahead and move this to its new location and see based off the chart where we're at now this is one of the second highest points in the day if that gets broken through, then the next point would be up here at 55.54. Write that down. Super important number. If this gets broken through, this will start to see newer highs, new resistance levels, and hit deeper into bullish territory. So 55.54, I'd write that down. That is probably the most important resistance level right now for Monday and Tuesday or up to Wednesday, depending on the volatility of the stock, to break through according how the week turns out but let's go ahead and look at this closely i want to narrow it down and then we're going to talk about those numbers a little bit broader this support level is the lowest point in this recovery before it continued and as it was starting to happen so i want every single investor to be aware of this support level 5209 if it breaks through the 50 day moving average and if it breaks through the support we're about to look at this is the next point of reference and if this point gets broken through this could be on its way down to newer lows and newer support levels so let's go ahead and see this here all right so our new support our new resistance and again the previous support level that we were just looking at here is probably the most important to keep in mind if this gets broken through because you want to pay close attention to the behavior we would be deeper into bearish territory and by breaking through it this could be on its way to newer lows let's go ahead and see our new support and resistance again the 50-day moving average is 52.99 if that gets broken through we are now in bearish territory and the bears are going to start to work their way closer to their goal which is breaking through support the support level which is one of the lowest points within the last couple hours of the day right after the highest point and slightly falling and slight recovery leveling off at 5416 is 5261 the support level is what the bears want to break through if they accomplish this you have the next point of reference here at 5208 and if that gets broken through pay very close attention to the behavior of the stock because we're getting deeper and deeper into bearish territory and further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction but before getting to any of those numbers 5261 is our first support and if that gets broken through pay very close attention to the behavior of this stock because that means that the bears accomplished getting into bearish territory and they broke through the first support in bearish territory to start hitting newer lows and newer support levels so i want every single investor to be aware of that now the bulls need to break through this point 
and this is probably one of the most important points for them. Obviously, this resistance level up here is important, but 54.93 is a point of reference that the bulls need to break through to continue this recovery and to continue staying above the 50-day moving average in bullish territory. 54.93 needs to be broken through, turn into a support, and excuse my terrible drawing in advance, but just so I can illustrate it, if that gets turned into a support, the bulls can break away from it, reach newer highs, and create another staircase and another staircase to continue that momentum. But before getting to any of those next levels and any other resistance level, the bulls need a break through 54.93, turn that into a support, break away from it, reach newer highs, and get deeper into bullish territory. I hope that with these cues, you guys are well prepared for Monday's trading day. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video. And in that video, I will be discussing about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising several points on schedule dates. As you see here on the graph, these circles are the dates that the pumps have happened. And I use them as examples to show you guys how much the stocks have risen and the S&P 500 index rose on those dates. And the reason why it's rising is due to the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets on these dates the charts and the dates speak for themselves as we can see it here and i break it down into more detail in the video but just to summarize it on these dates the s p 500 rises and there's individual ticker symbols rising up with it anywhere from 30 cents to three dollars per share i know it may not seem like a lot but per share that does add up and these individual ticker symbols are giving you back profits these are profits and like i always say profits are profits whether it's a dollar put into the market and you get back two dollars you've put in an initial investment and you got back more than what you started with that's what it's all about and also in the video i go into further detail showing you guys these dates and showing you how much it rose like for example this was one of the last pump dates and the lowest point that it reached was down here at 35.11 and the highest point reach was 35.57. That's like a 40 point jump. And here we're seeing the same thing. It went down to 35.88 and it rose up to about, I'd say, let's see, this is all still in the same day. It rose up to about a total amount of 36.23. When you do the math, that's almost a 40 to 50 point jump. And there's individual ticker symbols rising up with this. Now, I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm just here to inform every single investor on the great news, on the opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. You have to do your due diligence and research, but these charts and the dates speak for themselves. I mean, this was probably one of the largest jumps that I've seen in the last couple of pumps. And it was down here at 3302 and it rose up to about 33.88. That was an 80 point jump. There was probably ticker symbols rising up more than $3 per share on those dates. And even on these dates, there's individual ticker symbols rising more than $3 per share. Check it out, see for yourselves. And my best advice is look for ticker symbols that may be resembling the behavior of the S&P 500 index, and you'll be able to go ahead and give it a shot. Check it out. Again, I'm not there to tell you to buy, sell, or hold anything in particular. I'm not there to guarantee you profits. I'm just here to go ahead and share the information along with every single viewer and investor. The video should be popping up soon. If you haven't seen it already, pop up. There is the link down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and let's make some money.